it felt quite important to me to bring you some cherry blossom. But more importantly, to all the people slagging off Gemma Collins for being selected to be Mama Morton in Chicago, can you please go off and give your heads a wobble? Number one, you don't need to be unkind unnecessarily. You don't want to go and see her? Don't go. Don't get a ticket. You own your own choices. She doesn't give offence. You choose to take it. Make better decisions for yourself. Number two, reality TV people were often something else before they became known. Some of us went through the Royal Military Academy. Some of us ended up on TV because our husbands ran off with the secretary mentioning no names. We were something else before. It doesn't mean we didn't exist before or have to be disregarded from everything. You don't seem to have a problem, do you? You say, oh, well, I'm sure there should have been other people. There were other people more talented. There were musical theatre trained people who could have been better in this role. Sure, but they didn't get chosen, did they? They didn't get picked because they're not going to deliver the revenue that Collins is able to pull in for the theatres to make this production a success. And you say, well, more Gemma Collins. You're not bothered by the fact that the only TV presenters there seem to be on ITV are Holly Willowbooby or Phil Bloody Schofield. There are other chefs available, but you only ever see Gino or Gordon. You know, there are other people who are talented at other things, but you always see the same types of people because they can be trusted to bring in results and deliver for the production companies. For God's sake, be happy for the bloody woman. Don't go if you don't want to. Many people will go. And you know what, GC? I think you're going to be a terrific success. So go, you good thing, and bugger the critics. And everyone else just cheer the hell up and be happy for someone being successful in their life.